Hey guys, so welcome to tutorial on the TipTop Audio Fold Processor, which is this module right here. So the Fold Processor is a wave folder and a subdivider, uh, both together in one. Uh, and a wave folder is basically a type of distortion module where instead of simply clipping or hard clipping a waveform, it actually begins to fold it back on itself. So you get these really interesting uh, timbres out of it and new harmonics come out of it. So you can feed things from sine waves to more complex waves to even full on um, audio files and drum loops and stuff. And we'll listen to a bunch of that later on. So let's quickly just go over the front panel. It's a fairly simple module to understand. You have two inputs here and your top section here is your kind of basic wave folding. So you have the fold control here, which is CV controllable with the CV input here. And then you have an attenuverter to control how much the CV controls the fold. And then you have this inject here, which is uh, sort of a, a bias setting, which also has an attenuverter and CV control. And it's worth keeping in mind that this thing has a dead zone, which is sort of by design. So you have to be careful if it's completely to the left or to the right. Sometimes you'll hear nothing coming out of the outputs. So that's the, the folding piece of the puzzle. And the output from that comes out of this output jack here. So you feed an input here, you can fold and offset the, the signal here, and then you get the distorted output from here. Below here is the second part of the circuit. So once it runs through the wave folder, it then gets run through this uh, four stage divider here. So this is a divider circuit where you have divide by one, divide by two, divide by four and divide by eight. And you can sort of mix and match these. Uh, you can think of this as sort of a mixer where you have these four different octaves. So depending on the signal that comes out, you'll get a square wave out, uh, an octave below, uh, two, two octaves, three octaves, and four octaves. And yeah, so this is effectively sort of a mixer, so you can mix and match these signals. Um, and the signal that's coming in here is being folded, so you can get really gnarly sounds when you turn up um, the divider circuit and then play around with the fold and the inject, which we'll demo uh, in a bit. And the output from that gets output into this separate uh, subdivide output jack here, which is a mix of these knobs here. And that's basically, it's a fairly simple module, but the sounds you can get out of it are really insane and powerful. And combined with some modulation here, you can get really interesting sounds that destroy the incoming signal completely. So with that said, let's just go over some demos and we'll hear what kind of stuff you can get out of it. I also have a oscilloscope set up here um, and we'll be able to see what the waveform look like uh, once it gets manipulated. So let's get started. All right, so to start off, I'm just gonna use a pure sine wave, which is a, the simplest wave you can get. And we're gonna run it through the folder and see what kind of sounds we can get. So I'm just gonna use the filter here. I have a Z2040 also by TipTop Audio and I've cranked the resonance all the way up so that the filter self oscillates which means that the output will be giving us a pure sine wave uh, whose frequency we can control with the, the cutoff frequency knob here. So I'm just gonna patch that into one of my inputs here. And then here's my main out, which I'm gonna patch through the wave folder. So as you can see, I'm just gonna have this auto adjust here. So here's our sine wave. So if I move the fold up, it's gonna be kind of hard to see on the oscilloscope at the same time, but you kind of get the gist of what's happening here. sort of freeze the wave. Moving the eject. And 
all this started from this sine wave here so you can get these really insane waveforms and then if we demonstrate uh, an LFO for example so I'm gonna set this Z3000 also by tip top into an LFO I'm just gonna grab the sign output from that and feed it into the CV control of the fold here And similarly, we can modulate the inject input. And we can also demonstrate the subdivide output here. So if I plug that in as my output, by default you don't hear anything uh, because all the knobs are down here. But if I bring up the one octave down, bring up the second octave. Divide by four. Divide by eight. And then we can change the fold here. And you check. And of course, we can modulate the fold. All that came from a pure sine wave so that's pretty crazy so let's demo these two inputs here so i'm going to patch the sine wave from the filter again and i'm going to grab a sine wave from the z3000 as well into the second input
So I'm going to patch an LFO into to control the frequency of the Z3000 here. I'm going to grab a second LFO and patch it into the FM input of the filter here, which will control the second sine wave. Then we're going to grab a third LFO from the maths and patch it into the fold input here. And again, that just came from two different sine waves that I plugged into the two different inputs here. One sine wave from the filter and one sine wave from the Z3000. So let's move on from the basic uh, sound waves here and let's move on to demoing it with a uh, drum loop, which I'm going to be playing from the tip top one, uh, which is off screen right now. So I have my tip top one uh, output here. I'm going to plug it into the input and plug in my output here. Let me reset some of these parameters. I'm just going to trigger a drum loop. Again, we can modulate the fold. Let's see what it sounds like from the subdivider output. get an LFO going into the fold. Get a sine wave into the second input.
We can also feed the subdivide out back into the input one here. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the fold processor can do. It's a fairly simple module to kind of grasp. It only has a handful of knobs and inputs, uh, but you can quickly demolish all kinds of different sounds that you run through it um, and get all kinds of different wacky experimental stuff, but also subtle stuff. Um, I found that the, the inject knob is very sensitive, so it's got a very kind of uh, sweet spot that you got to search around for a little bit um, but then once you find certain sweet spots you kind of get into these really gnarly weird uh, almost bit crushery distortion effects even though this is a fully analog uh, unit here um, so yeah it's a pretty neat little uh, fold processor wave shaper and i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>